This is our gate. And as you can tell, it's a little raggedy. The hinges are broke, there's a huge gap in it, and the posts are rotting out. So, take it down. Take it down. <laughs> After learning from Mr. Miyagi and becoming the Karate Kid, I got the post out and started digging the holes even deeper. You're supposed to dig the hole a third of the height of the post deep. So if the post is six feet tall, you need to dig a hole two feet deep. And then I spread some rock on the bottom of the hole to make it a solid ground for the post. Got some quick, fast setting concrete and then dumped it into the hole. I left a few inches at the top so that you could cover it with dirt and then poured the water in it. After that, you can grab your long level and make sure everything is Gucci. The remainder of the post I did the exact same way. Now if you're wondering how to do this by yourself, the easiest way that I found is just to put the concrete by the hole and then slowly dump the concrete in. And once the pole is steady with the concrete, you should just be able to take your hands off. Alright, so I wanted to make sure that these posts are straight because the gate's going to go straight across them. And I have four posts, which will be, you know, one pillar, one pillar, so straight across. And so I use this string that you can see it's lovely and hopefully that helps me get the push straight. This method did work out pretty great. I just needed to make sure the holes were dug in the correct spot to get the post straight up. If you have any better ideas on how to do this, let me know in the comments. You're supposed to wait four hours before putting heavy load on the concrete. I wanna wait for at least an hour or two maybe. So I'm gonna eat some breakfast. <laughs> oh, we're about to. All right, we're back. I'm gonna cut some of these pressure treated boards for the bottom of the fence so that the bottom on the walls would be pressure treated. So I'm gonna put them on there and then put the rest of the plywood on top of that. And so the bottom would be protected and not rot out. This wood that I have is just half inch plywood. I bought some from Home Depot and just used some scrap wood that I had in the garage. I got all the uh, boards up. Looks a little janky. You can take a look. Next up is to wrap the boards with this roof paper. Okay, this way of doing the roll is way better. You just throw the roll over this and just let it roll out and then you cut it at the bottom. All right, next up we got the metal lathe, putting it on the two posts. I don't know what to call these. Post, uh, two post, double post, block a post. Putting it on the post so that the mortar of the stucco so it can stick on there. So make sure you wear gloves or it'll cut you up. And I don't need to be cut up anymore. Then. All right. This lathe I bought from Home Depot, and it's not my favorite stuff to work with. It'll cut you random places. <laughs> Uh, but I just used some screws, some outdoor screws, to get this in. And that might be kind of weird, but it worked out well. And I would definitely do it again. I just got some cookies. Forgot what his name is. Mar? Molina. Got me some cookies. The neighbor across the street. Heck yeah, I'm excited. After all the lathe is on there, then you can move on to the base coat of your stucco wall. Now there's a two layer application for the stucco and clearly my wheelbarrow is terrible. But the idea is to mix it up, get it wet, and then to apply it all on the lathe. It's kind of like laying tile or concrete or anything like that. Make sure you get your stucco mortar wet enough so that sound is flaking off everywhere. Alrighty, I think that's a day for me. It is Christmas Eve. We're going to see some lights and go to Denny's. Celebrate baby Jesus. Hello. I don't wanna be. Come on. No. Say something cute. No. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> Today we're doing the finishing coat of the stucco wall pillars for my gate entrance. Got some white stucco from Lowe's. I finally found a place. So let's get it. 
This tub was much easier to drag <laughs> than the wheelbarrow. Shout out, tub. Now the application process to this is exactly the same. Uh, make sure you get something flat so you don't have any edges in your stucco wall. And there are a lot of textures that you can choose from. So research that and pick one that you want. We got the gate thing in. And so we're gonna be putting that together in a different video. So check that out. But I wanted to do this half wall. It's gonna be a different batch to the top and the bottom. And I wanna see how different it turns out. And I'll let you know what it looks like. Behind you, bug. Oh, that's a lot of kisses. <laughs> <laughs> the posts are done and I think it turned out really great. I was going more for a flat texture for the stucco but since it's my first time it turned out rougher than I thought but all in all I think it looks really amazing. My wife said she loves it. It looks natural to the surroundings and that is a huge win in my book. This was the post that had the half batch on top and another batch on the bottom. It turned out really great. I think it looks good. You can't tell the difference so that's good. If you can tell from behind me, I put some lights and some numbers and the gate is all finished up. So go check out that video and watch that build and then go watch how I made this gate automatic. It's a great build. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video.